the Yeezy Slide. Probably the hardest shoe to get in your correct size. In today's video, boys and girls, we're going to go over the Yeezy Slide Onyx that dropped on Yeezy Day for 2023. We're going to do sizing updates. Are they worth it? Am I going to keep a pair? We're going to go through all that in today's video. So thank you guys for being here. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started with this review. So starting off, we have the classic Yeezy Slide box. It says slide here. Obviously, you can read that. It says Yeezy Slide on the side. And then I went with a true to size size 10 I am a size 10 and of course I've already tried them on of course I had them in hand I had to try them on to see how they fit for you guys I would go true to size on this shoe that's the first thing I want to hit that's my main point of this video because we know slides are all over the place but before we get too far into sizing let me open these up let's look at them real quick so starting off the box does slide open like this you've never had a pair of Yeezys in general that's what they look like and you can see these are the onyx slides let me grab them out of here because they do kind of get as you can see they kind of get stuck in there if you if you jam them in there so just know that when you do put them in there they're kind of already out of the box but let me grab this so here they both are right here. Not, not a lot to go over. It's a piece of foam, man. I can't like really review it all oh, this and this. I like this line about it. I like that. It is a piece of foam. At the end of the day, it's a piece of foam. Now, this may be known as one of the most comfortable pieces of foam out there because, you know, everyone says Yeezy slides are amazing. Now, for me personally, when I first put them on, I, I don't wear slides. I typically don't wear slides in general. I feel like I kind of find myself tripping over these. Kind of like when I put my first pair of Yeezy 350 V2s on, they were so cushiony that I, I felt weird walking in them. Can anybody else relate to that? Maybe that's just me because I didn't wear Yeezy products for a while. And without wearing slides on the regular, this is kind of an adjustment for me. Now, as we get in close here, you can see what the Yeezy slide has to offer. The size tag will come right here. You can see it's a size 10. Both of your Yeezy slides should have these on them. The size 10. Now these fall off very easy. So if it's off, check inside of your Yeezy slide box because I've had pairs where the actual sticker on it has came off. So don't worry if the tag is off. It's not that big of a deal. They come off really easy. These and foam runners. Foam runner is another pair from Yeezy that the tag just comes off so, so easy. So don't overthink that too much. I have Adidas here on the heel. You can see the sole of the shoe itself. I think this is why I am falling over them. I'm not used to this. And when I walk, I feel like, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I'm uncoordinated when I put this shoe on, which is just so, so funny because like, you know, we all wear shoes every single day and then I throw a Yeezy slide slide on and I feel like a baby giraffe. I'm just walking all weird. You'll see, you'll see on the on foot video when I take off walking down, it's kind of different. You can see I'm kind of uneasy on my feet, but that's just something I noticed when wearing the pair. Now let's go ahead and jump into it on foot so you can actually see how these are fitting. Now you can see these are fitting my foot perfectly when I went true to size. I'm a size 10, but I do have a narrow foot. If you have a wide foot, you may have to go up just because it will be tight on the side of your feet. You can see as I'm walking around here, they're just perfect for my foot. When I do go to walk, I'm good to go. So keep this in mind when sizing your Yeezy slides. Now, with the Yeezy slide, is it worth it? I think currently, man, if you want a Yeezy slide, this may be one of your best times. Everyone wants Yeezy slides. They're done making this colorway. It's over. Yeezys are done. They have new colorways coming up. I made a video on that, but this is not one of them. Onyx, all black Yeezys typically do very, very well. So if you want to grab pairs of these now, you may want to. You may be able to find them local for really, really low in resale value because you guys know the market's down a little bit. The market is down, so you may be able to get pairs of these for a good price. Stack them up. You can sell them. If you can't sell them this summer, next summer, they'll definitely be worth some money. They are a great entry point. They're $70 retail. That's why we love Yeezy slides. You can always make a little money off them if you want, because like I said, everyone wants a pair of Yeezy slides. Go outside, go to a pool, go to a mall. You'll see a pair of these walking around somewhere. I'm telling you, Yeezy slides, one of the most popular shoes I see. I haven't been able to hop on the wave, and I don't know if I'm going to hop on the wave yet. Now, I know I've tried it on, so I've technically undead stocked it, but I can still sell them for a profit. Let me know down in the comments, should I wear these? If you're actually still watching, hit that like button. If this video gets like 150 likes, I'll just keep a pair. I'll keep a pair. Why not? If this video gets 150 likes, we'll see. We'll see see if you guys are still watching at this point. Hit that little bit like button and we'll actually keep a pair of Yeezy slides. I probably need a pair anyways for the pool since it is summertime. Now overall, what are your thoughts on Yeezy slides? Do you wear them? Do you not like them? Do you just sell every pair you get because they move like hotcakes? Let me know what you do down below and let me know what you think they're going to do on the market. I think the market, they are going to do just fine. Uh, they're not making a lot of money right now, but it is a Yeezy side. It's 70 bucks. You can almost double your money on the Onyx pairs when it comes to local moves like on Facebook or OfferUp and places like that. I know people be paying high dollar to get these, man. They got to flex the Yeezy slides. They need them. But overall, what you need to take away from this video, sizing was my main thing. Sizing, I went true to size on these. We know some of them fit small. You can see my foot fit perfect. I'm a size 10. 
This is a size 10 and it fit my foot perfectly. So I recommend you guys do true to size on the 2023 Yeezy slides. You know, every year they're produced a little bit different. And this year, I think true to size is the move. If I would have went up to an 11, I'd have been floating these things. It'd have been boats on my feet. I definitely wouldn't have been able to walk in these things. Next, the market. The market's going to be fine on these. It's all black Yeezy slide. People want them. You can move them. If you want to hold them, hold them. If you want to get rid of them, get rid of them. Make your cash. Make your money if you want to. Now that's all on you. You shouldn't have a hard time selling these if you don't know where to sell maybe use Facebook use Instagram if you have an Instagram it's kind of hard on Instagram if you haven't really built up your reputation on there or use your discord servers if you need a discord server with a full marketplace kicked has you right there kicked will take care of you not only do I have a full marketplace for you but we'll show you how to get shoes like this for retail stop paying resale join kicked right now we got you and finally this is most likely the last time we'll ever see the onyx slide be produced so keep that in mind if it's the last thing produced you know the price will go up because these things do get cooked I've seen plenty of easy slides that have been destroyed. I'm talking absolutely destroyed because someone wore them so much and they wear down. You know how it is. People always want fresh shoes and they want fresh slides as well each and every year. So just know, just know these are the last Onyxes out there. So if you want to take an opportunity or take a risk and maybe invest in a couple pairs, you can do so. But you will not be buying another pair of these for retail anytime soon or ever again. So you're most likely going to pay resell if you didn't hit on Easy Day. Once again, if you did hit on Easy Day, let me know what pairs you have. I did get the Onyx slides. I got Azure slides. I got Carbon Beluga 350s and Onyx 350s from Easy Day, so it wasn't a bad Easy Day for me. But guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're coming at you real quick with all this. If you made it this far, if you made it this far in the video, let's say down in the comments, 150 likes and I'll tow a Yeezy slide. But thank you all for being here. You guys are the best community around. I will see you guys on the next video. If you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, baby. Let's get it running. But that is it for me, guys. I am out of here. Peace.